20 minutes of useless Halo facts that you didn't know that you needed to know, but now you will know. Brought to you by the various voices of Halo YouTubers. Ready, set, go. On the Halo 3 ODST level uplift reserve, you can see this highway right up here, which is the same highway you drive on in the level Coastal Highway, and on Coastal Highway you can look down and see the same bridge from uplift reserve. You can currently trade in Halo Infinite to GameStop for $22, which is equal to the Taco Bell Supreme Taco Party Pack. That sounds like a deal to me. Master Chief's glove armor was changed between Halo 2 and 3, despite the fact that this makes no sense. To further reiterate that this makes no sense, there's even a secret grunt voice line referencing the change. Look at his glove! He'll crush us, way! Hey, does he have different numbers of dots on his gloves? The trailer, We Are ODST's one best trailer of 2009 on MissionEmma.com. After the fall of Reach, MOAs almost went extinct. However, some still survive on remote locations of the planet not glassed by the Covenant. Despite this, people eat MOAs, even though baby MOAs would make for cool pets. That hologram on a ceiling in the flare room on the Halo 3 map Guardian, it's actually using a NASA stock image of the planet Mars. Likewise, each of the Halo ring holograms on the mission The Covenant in Halo 3 are also using NASA stock images of different moons and planets throughout our solar system. Tombstone the Halo 2 map was originally just exclusive to the Xbox version. It was not officially made available for Halo 2 for Windows Vista, but modders were able to port Tombstone to Halo 2 Vista. It is possible that Tombstone was named after the Arizona city of Tombstone, where in 1881, Wyatt Earp, his brothers, and Doc Holliday participated in the most infamous shootout of the North America's Wild West, the gunfight at the OK Corral. This would also keep with the Western theme of the name of Tombstone's predecessor, Hang 'em High. Even though it wasn't drivable, the forklift technically made its official debut in Halo 3 and has appeared in every Halo title since. When Halo and Fortnite collaborated, Red vs. Blue made an episode in Fortnite to promote the Master Chief skin. Blood Gulch was actually recreated in Fortnite for a limited time game mode. Cut ideas from Halo 1 and Halo 2 like Engineers, Flooded Mombasa Tunnels, and First Person Drop Pod sequences were later brought back for ODST, but were originally intended to be in older titles. As the rookie snaps his SMG into his pot's weapon holster, one might notice that the flashlight is active. The Warthog physics in C are so great, you could do a 360 spin on the big jump on the Maw. You can also just barely touch other players and kill them. So technically, as far as the game files are concerned. The Mantis in Halo 4 is actually a biped, like any other living character, which means the Mantis is technically alive, just like Chief, Cortana, Leeds, Didact, and so on. It's not actually a vehicle as far as Halo 4 is concerned. You can actually prove this on the China version of MCC, because the built-in Chinese censorship features makes dead bodies fade away, and if you destroy a Mantis, it will also fade away, just like any other bodies, but other vehicles that get destroyed will not fade away. In Halo Combat Evolved, some tricks and jumps are easier to do in Legendary difficulty because your grenade does less damage in Legendary to make the game harder, and since your grenades are weaker in Legendary, the survivability of doing a trick jump is also higher. As of Halo 3, any files pertaining to instance geometry are named Poop, and in Halo Reach, there's even a file named Really Big Fucking Poop. Why? Originally in Halo 4 Spartan Ops, players would drop in drop pods to the level, but they ended up cutting this. The Hunt the Truth campaign for Halo 5 Guardians revealed that Halo 2's cover art is based on an in-universe photograph taken by Benjamin Giard during the Battle of Mombasa. The French disc copy of Halo 3 ODST was made in Germany. Justin Bieber was spotted at a Halo Reach launch party. If you break out of the map in ODST, there's a ton of area you can go explore that aren't loaded in correctly. This skull has a gold tooth. Also in the China verge of MCC, with the built-in censorship features for Halo 1 and 2, dead bodies will actually shrink down until there's nothing left. But actually, if you zoom in super close with like a sniper rifle or something like that, you can actually see that the bodies did not vanish. They're still there, they just shrunk down really super super tiny, but they are still there. You can buy a Halo Fireteam Raven arcade machine for only $16,000. The helmet the Bumblebee pilot is seen wearing at the end of the level Pillar of Autumn is a reference to Ghost in the Shell. Also, the drop pod is called a Bumblebee, in case you didn't know that either. Speaking of Ghost in the Shell references, the Scarab seems to have been based off of the mech seen at the end of the movie, with the movie design even appearing verbatim in some early Halo 2 storyboards. Halo 3's blackout codename was Moonlight Sonata during its development due to the level's dark nighttime sky, and as an allusion to one of Beethoven's works. In all games prior to Halo Reach, 
all jackals shot left-handed and are the only Covenant species to do so. However, in Halo Reach, Halo 4, Halo 5, and Halo Infinite, jackals shoot with their right hands and carry their shields with their left hands. That makes it harder to shoot through the gap in a jackal's energy shield as all player characters in Halo are right-handed. If we look at the base set of maps from the original Combat Evolved, not including the PC or Mac maps, over the years, 10 out of 13 of those maps would be remade in later Halo games, bringing it to a 76% remake rate. The only maps that have not had an official remake, excluding Forge remakes, are Rat Race, Chiron TL34, and Boarding Action. You can buy the Walmart Halo 3 cardboard cutout display from 2007 for $500 on eBay. Halo Starfighter was an internal pitch developed by a team within 343 Industries early during the development time frame of Halo Infinite, which would have been a dedicated spaceship flighting game inspired by the game in Long Night of Solace. The rookie in ODST's real name is Jonathan Doherty, as in John Doe, as in the name given to unidentified male corpses. This is because rookie speaks about as much as a corpse does, which is to say that he never speaks at all throughout the course of the game, and also he is dead. It costs $20 to buy the Master Chief set in Fortnite, which is equivalent to five 4 for 4s at Wendy's. Even though it wasn't drivable, the forklift technically made its official debut in Halo 3 and has appeared in every Halo title since. In this picture of Master Chief's childhood bedroom, which I have no idea where this is from, but this is on Halopedia, so I think it's official, there's a bowling trophy on the shelf. You can play as Cat pre-headshot in Gears of War 5. Did you guys know that hunters don't have a set height? Because they are a collective of worm-like creatures, their height ranges from 11 to 13 feet. However, in an episode of Halo Legends called The Duel, one hunter appears to be 50 feet tall, and Frank O'Connor actually explained that saying that hunters' appearances or height can change due to the gravity and environment that they're in. Another fun fact is that despite being on the cover of Halo Spartan Assault, there are no hunters in the game. There's also a very rare and obscure Mac version, a Mac OS version of Halo 1 for people PC or Halo Combat Evolved. It actually ran pretty well back in the day. It had a few more advanced features than the actual PC version of Halo. But that Mac version of Halo 1, it no longer works on modern Macs anymore. In fact, it stops working with uh, Mac OS Catalina. And even before that, with Mac OS Mojave, it already starts working very poorly and with a lot of issues. So it really only runs well on much older versions of Mac OS. Sergeant Johnson's voice actor David Scully also voices Nemesis in Mac Assault 2 Lone Wolf. I've never played a mech assault game, so I don't know who that is. On the Halo 3 map, Longshore, they put these spikes here to keep seagulls away. Also on Longshore, the dinghies aren't actually that good. They'll sink if they're stood on. The large monitor on cold storage is actually one of the very few objects that spike grenades in Halo 3 will not stick to. Instead, if you throw a spike grenade at them, it'll actually just bounce off. In Halo Reach's Forge, if you build walls around the kill ball, the kill ball will still be visible, but it won't kill you unless you have direct sightline with the core. The reason the first Halo game has Combat Evolved tacked on is simply to appease marketing research terms. Bungie was firm in the name Halo, but Microsoft wasn't happy about the lack of a descriptive name, so a compromise was reached whether Bungie wanted it or not. Speaking of names of Halo games, the original working title for Halo was Monkey Nuts, which was later changed to Blam because the project lead, Jason Jones, was too embarrassed to tell his mom that he was working on a game called Monkey Nuts. Monkey Nuts Combat Evolved doesn't really have the same ring to it anyways. A lot of people don't like this fact, but all the way back in Halo Combat Evolved, Master Chief is technically referred to as a cyborg in more than one different occasion, both in-game and in documentation. Another fun fact in Halo 3 specifically is that when a marine, or really when any character gets infected by the Flood while they're still alive, they're technically not getting transformed into the Flood. They're actually just dying until they actually completely die first. And then once they're dead, the game actually swaps out their character with that of the Flood combat form. So that is actually how flood transformations work in Halo 3's engine. Ana Torque is Cortana backwards. During the last days before Halo 2 servers were officially shut down, the Did You Know box in the search screen of the matchmaking section displayed messages, which were changed to comical style about Halo 2's features and exploits, like saying SMG starts were a mistake or that the BXR was actually an exploit. If you pick the colors purple and yellow in Halo 3, you can look like a Minnesota Vikings fan. Engineers technically aren't living biological creatures, they're synthetic and programmed by the Forerunners, 
but they're low key adorable, so people will forgive it. Master Chief can run 65.2 miles per hour, but Halo fans still cry when he speed walks. The plural of mongoose is actually pronounced mongooses because the vehicle is named after the mammal and not the bird. There's an official commendation in Halo 5 that confirms this. The collector's edition statue of Master Chief versus a hunter that was made for the movie Forward Unto Dawn had free shipping. Now, during the Prophet of Regret boss fight in Halo 2, once you kill him, his character is actually swapped out for a different version of himself that's hidden outside the map on top of the building that you're in. You can actually see the swap happen if you play it in slow motion. Once you kill the Prophet of Regret, for a split second, you could see his body being swapped for the other one. And if you actually get out of the map using like Acrophobia score or something, go on top of the building and you push his like other body off the edge of it map so that he dies. First of all, the other body is like a very shrunk down, tiny, like invisible version of him. All you'll see is like a little green orb up there. But if you push it till it dies and then you go back in the map and you kill Regret, then when it swaps the bodies, it's actually like, it swaps out for like a glitched version because it's supposed to be dead, but it's also like messed up at the same time. It's like one of the weird things that can happen <laughs> during that boss fight. Back in Halo Combat Evolved, if you're playing on LAN or locally, it would give you a randomly assigned Halo name from this list of names. Interestingly enough, Donut and Caboose are both preset names from Combat Evolved and may have served as inspiration in Red vs. Blue for the names of these characters, though I'm just speculating here. But before we get into the rest of the facts, you may have noticed that some other energy drink companies might be having a bunch of controversy right now. It might seem like the world is just burning down in their offices for whatever reason, but that's not the case when it comes to gamer subs who have hooked us up with our own discount code. Seriously, these guys have been nothing but awesome to us. And while this isn't a direct sponsorship by any means, it's just a commission based thing. Luke and I genuinely love the taste of gamer subs because it's zero calorie, zero sugar that gives you that caffeine kick that you might need through the day. I don't want to go on for too long about it, but if you guys are now in need of a new energy drink and you want to support the content that we make, you can use our code rocket sloth at checkout. It's like giving a tip to rocket sloth, but then you also get cool stuff in return. And if you're not big on energy drinks, they have really cool waifu merchandise. Dim loves this stuff. So maybe that stuff would be up your alley. Master Chief weighs 286 pounds, which is equivalent to 286 one pound rocks. Originally Halo, the franchise that we all directly think of the Xbox when we think about was actually going to be a Mac game. Just like later on when Halo did become an RTS with Halo Wars, the original Halo game actually started its life as an RTS. In Halo Infinite, you could drive around in the Warthog with all four tires blown off. The Battle of Shadow and Light content update for Halo 5 Guardians released on November 18th, 2015. Halo Infinite and Destiny 2 were blood relics. Well, whatever the equivalent of blood is in relation to computer software. Both games run on a modified version of Bungie's proprietary engine known as Blam. The current engine name for Halo Infinite is Slipspace, and the current Destiny engine is known as Subscribed Williasso. That last part isn't true, I'm just chilling out my channel in the middle of a Rockets Law video. GameStop is currently selling Halo 4 for 99 cents, which means Halo 4 would be cheaper than some items on the McDonald's dollar menu. In Halo 2 specifically, dead bodies are actually not dead at all. In fact, if you zoom in close to a dead body, if you zoom on their face and then you like shoot them or punch them or something like that, they'll actually flinch to that. They'll start blinking and just react to you attacking their dead body. So they're actually still alive and it's uh, pretty freaky, but just a little fun fact there. Since Halo 4, multiplayer has been integrated into the Halo series canon as a Spartan training simulation known as War Games. Originally, Halo CE almost didn't have a multiplayer mode. The featured multiplayer mode that ended up becoming such a huge thing and things that people have played for almost 20 years was actually whipped up in the last couple of weeks and added to the game at the very last minute. Without that happening, Halo CE would have been a purely single player game. Starting with Halo 5, you can control your vehicle's position in midair. A lot of people don't know this, but Halo stole their character Master Chief from a small indie game called Fortnite. Marcus P. Stacker is a recurring marine throughout the Halo series named after and voiced by Peter Stacker, better known as the voice of Captain Keys. If you play Halo 2 on the Xbox 360, for whatever reason, occasionally certain structures or player models will just burn in on your screen while you're playing, though it's not permanent. This is the Halo Wars 2 placeholder logo box used on Creative Assembly's website before the official one was revealed. In Halo 5's Forge, you could break past the hard limit of the physics budget. You probably knew this one already, but the IWHBYD skull is short for I would have been your daddy, a quote from Sergeant Johnson in Halo Combat Evolved. The full quote is, I would have been your daddy, but the dog
dog beat me over the fence. Over the years, there's been various hints that elites and humans may have romantic feelings towards each other in certain instances. Not only is it so subtly hinted at in one of the books that Vale has a thing for that red elite from the Halo 3 four-player co-op campaign, which is canon, or vice versa, there is even an audio log in Halo 5 where an elite has a love poem for Spartan Palmer. Despite popular belief, Noble Six dies at the end of Halo Reach. Please shut up. Halo 3 has 39,377 lines of dialogue. My oldest map still available for download is Tornado in Halo 3. One of my most popular maps, Tokyo Drift, is also one of the maps I dislike the most. Captain Lasky was born in 2510, and Master Chief was born just one year later in 2511. Miranda Keys, however, was born 14 years after Master Chief. Halo 2 Anniversary had Forge, and Halo 2 did not have Forge. This is because it's a remake. Halo Infinite has several instances of a very high quality sandwich scattered about the game. This is because it's actually a miniaturized version of a giant sandwich that can be found in the game world being worshipped by grunts. Halo The Essential Visual Guide mistakenly lists the Forward Unto Dawn as appearing in Halo 3 ODST, which of course is false. They confuse it with the in Ember clad. Catherine Halsey first appeared in the first book of the Halo franchise, Fall of Reach, but didn't receive an indirect mention in-game until Halo 3. There's also this little plaque on Oni Alpha site in ODST posting a memorial to Catherine Halsey, who supposedly died on Reach, though it even states that no body was found. Halo C and Halo 4 both feature the same four Covenant species, Elites, Jackals, Crunts, and Hunters. This character from Forward Unto Dawn grew up to be a character in Hunt the Truth, the audio story, who is voiced by this guy. Halo 4 has a Metacritic score of 87. If you deduct 87 points from that, it would be rated 0. On Upload Preserve in Halo 3 ODST, there is a pointless cave over here that you can go in. This last one may or may not be a verified fact, but Halo seems to be the first FPS game to have a dedicated button for melee and grenades, respectively. Up till then, you would have had to have swapped to your melee weapon or grenade before being able to use it. This fact is still debated to this day, but so far I've yet to see examples of other games using these mechanics before Halo Combat Evolved. We know that some classical music is also canon in the Halo lore. Rush Maninoff's Piano Concerto No. 3 is mentioned in Halo The Fall of Reach Chapter 1. Mahler's Symphony No. 2 is mentioned in Halo First Strike Chapter 13. And the Bussies Prelude No. 4 is mentioned in Halo Ghost of Onyx Chapter 16. Master Chief could have probably saved Miranda Keys if he would have flown his Hornet through the window the same way Miranda did, instead of getting out of his Hornet, walking through the door, and taking an elevator ride up. Also, we do not know much about the economy of the inner colonies. Some people think that Halo 3's Narrows is a remake of Jephyrophobia, and I can kind of see it, kind of. This sign on the storm spells out Fire Exit in Swahili, and also Fire Exit in English. Halo 2 Vista only ever had two total patches, and in patch number two, they added support for the resolution of 1440 by 900. Buck's blood type is O-, making him a universal donor. The animated anthology special Halo Legends is actually the final piece of media to use the original Halo logo. These were some of the concept ideas for what the Halo logo could have ended up looking like, thanks to Paul Russell's Twitter account. Gabriel Thorne, the guy from Spartan Ops, enlisted in the military before his 18th birthday with the consent of his grandparents. The Halo Wars achievement Killjoy is a reference to the Halo 3 medal Killjoy. Originally, the broadsword was going to be called the Turtle. Fan favorite character Maki from the Halo TV show appears in 8 out of 9 episodes. One time, the BBC used the UNSC logo for a news report about the United Nations Security Command. For Halo 5's standalone forge mode on PC, the minimum hardware requirements are an Intel Core i5 at 2.3 gigahertz or AMD equivalent or a GeForce 650 Ti. I have no idea how that would run though. This is concept art of a cave. The book Halo Mythos released in the same month as the Warthog in Forza Horizon 3. A plas soda found in Halo 2 has one gram of protein, meaning it has one gram more than the monster energy I usually drink. The Pelican in Flight Simulator lets you open up the cargo bay and walk through the doors to look out in the back and I landed it on the Space Needle, because why not? Also, it's terrifying just watching out of the back of the cargo thing when it's free falling. In Halo 3 ODST Firefight, Sergeant Johnson has the exact same body as Rookie. The Halo 4 map Skyline is in the city of Mindoro, which is named after the seventh largest island of the Philippines. The promotional ODST truck that was touring the US for like two months back in 2009 was 27 feet long, 14 feet wide when fully expanded and weighing a beefy 13 tons. 3 for 3 Industries created a joke script for Halo 6 in 2016 titled Halo 6 Yapda Cuts Loose, which follows the story of a grunt called Yapda. This Halo 4 concept art of a grunt is terrifying. The M12R Rocket Warthog appeared in the following books. 
Halo Mythos, Shadows of Reach and Divine Wind. The Minister of Ideology, who you probably never heard of, neither have I, because he's a minor prophet from a Halo tabletop game that I didn't even know existed until now. But interesting about him, he has four fingers instead of three like the other prophets. Probably an oversight. Staying on the topic of that Halo tabletop game, the rulebook has 129 pages. In 2007, three Bungie employees got to drive a real-life version of the Warthog, and while driving it for fun around in a parking lot, they scrapped the side of it. Another Warthog replica made by Area Group for Halo 4 was downscaled in size by 12% to remain street legal, and also was running on a 1996 Hummer H1 engine with a top speed of 25 miles an hour. Waypoint is the name of the actual in-law UNSC communications network. The Halo Waypoint Waypoint app on the Xbox 360 had three different covers over the years and also had three different title screens. The M41 Spanker is 55.4 inches long, 10.2 inches wide, 17.4 inches high and weighs 24 pounds. There is an Oni agent with the codename Usual Suspect. An excerpt of Halo Classlands was released in the September 2011 issue of the official Xbox magazine. There were three different editions of Halo 4, all three came with two discs and two weeks of Xbox Live Gold. The Halo Reach beta required an Xbox Live Gold account to play matchmaking, however, it was still possible for players to run the beta and customize their Spartans even with an Xbox Live Silver account. The in-law company Bungie Motorworks is possibly a parody of the real-world company BMW, as they have the same initials. And last but not least, every map is a racetrack. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe and check out our other video of 10 more minutes of useless Halo facts that you didn't think that you needed to know, but now you could know if you watched that video. Also, thanks to all of the creators who helped make this video possible.